starts now. A local mom says moldy conditions are making her kids sick. Tonight, she wants to know why the owner of the home she rents hasn't done anything about it. Good to have you with us tonight at 6. It's a problem Jenna Gardner says she has festered for months inside her home. And that problem is mold. And she says she's made her landlord aware of it several times to no avail. Larry Spruill got a closer look at what the family's been dealing with and then started working the phones. Uh, Larry, eager to hear what the city and the landlord had to say because you, you spoke with both. We did, Devin. We spoke to the city and the landlord. The city tells me that this home is an issue. I also spoke with the landlord. I also found out that multiple companies have managed this property over the last couple of months. And tonight, we got to look inside. We sprayed it and initially it started caving through. It was just pouring out water. Gina Gardner invited my photographer Matt and me inside her home to see what she claims are moldy conditions, not fit to live in. At first, she showed us her living room and then the downstairs bathroom. This sink is literally just hanging. It fell on my daughter, my seven year old daughter. I got a picture of that too. But the sink was not the only problem. Recently, she says there were mushrooms growing on the floor. She sent us these pictures. We poured bleach down there and um, the guy came out and I paid $900 for them to spray it. You see, that's all the mushrooms and dead mushrooms. After that, we followed her to the upstairs bathroom. All around the tub, down towards the bottom, all up there. Gardner tells me the black mold put her daughter in the hospital with these black blisters on her skin. Frustrating, like it's, it's irritating. I went here nothing for like a whole month later when they called me asking me for rent payments. So I've been holding the rent payments for the last three months. Now, I found out since December of last year, multiple companies have managed the home, but there has only been one landlord. This is Larry Sproul of Local Forum. I talked to the previous manager on the phone. She managed the property from April to mid-July of this year. I can't force a property owner to fix their property. The only thing I can do is take their concerns to them. And, you know, like I told Ms. Gardner, if she needed me to come to court and testify on her behalf, I would. I also called the landlord of this home. She agreed to talk to me. So I just called to, to ask why, why is this house the way it is with this mold? Larry, we're going to have to have this conversation later, please. If you don't mind. Well, I'll call you back on this number. Now, to be fair, she did call me back later on this afternoon around 4 o'clock, and she tells me that her crews have been to the house multiple times to try to fix the mold issues. Now, I did call Gardner right back and ask her if that was true. Gardner tells me that is a lie. Meanwhile, the city tells me that they did inspect this home in September. They said the home was not in compliance, and they issued several citations to the landlord. They came back out here recently today and they said the home is still not in compliance. They gave several tickets to the landlord. We are live tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Such frustration for the tenants. All right, Larry.